Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get right into today's video. So getting right into it, I'm taking this nude color called Light Bright and applying it to all of the nails. This will act as the base color for today's set. If you want to learn how I do my application with acrylic, I do have a video on that. I will link it down below as well as the other two like beginner basic videos that I have. I also forgot to mention this color does glow in the dark. Um, I don't know if I showed a preview of that at the end, but if I did, then I will show you guys. If not, then I will upload a picture that I did take of it glowing in the dark. I'm digging you, you make me believe
Now that our acrylic application is done, I am taking this tapered 5-in-1 drill bit and gently going around the cuticles, just sealing them and making sure they're all nice and flush. Next, I'm taking my Tammy Taylor pill and stick hand file and just shaping up the sidewalls along with the free edge. I will also be using that to go over the surface of the nail just to smooth it out even more. Next, I'm taking my hand and flipping it over, and this just helps uh, perfect that free edge a bit more and make sure it's all nice and straight because you can see it from the client's perspective. I recommend doing this step because it really does help out a lot. Now I'm taking my buffer from 2Q Nail Supply and just going over the surface just to smooth it out and make sure there's no ridges when we go in with our nail art. So for today's nail art, I will be trying out those denim nails. Um, I did do my best when doing this set, so I did mix a darker blue that I have with a little bit of um, black gel polish as well, just to create this like denim blue type of color. Next, I'm taking my liner nail art brush, and I outlined a little section on the side of the nail there, you can see. And now I'm just filling the rest of the area with um, that blue color. After I've covered the entire section with this blue color, I will be carrying it in the light for 30 seconds. So for the pinky nail, I'm going to be covering that whole nail with this denim blue color. If you haven't noticed yet, this um, brush that I'm using is uh, the top to an old like top coat bottle that I had. I just feel like this works out better than using like a little art brush to like paint the color on. I feel like it helps reduce the like streaks from the gel polish. 
So there's a little tip there if you didn't know. Save your old gel polish bottles and use the brush from there to apply your gel polish to the full nail. So I did cure down the light for 30 seconds and now I'm taking that same color and my liner brush and I will be doing Frenchies on the ring finger and the pointer finger. So here I'm just gently outlining my smile line and then I will, I will be taking that same brush from my top coat bottle and, and filling in that spot as well. So using the leftover blue that I did had, I mixed in a little bit of white gel polish just to lighten it up a bit. And now I'm just like gently painting it on, I guess. Not like really gently, but like spackling it on, I guess. I don't know how you'd describe it onto all the nails. This will kind of help um, create that denim look. And I will also be going in with a tinier brush that's wet a little bit with acetone and just kind of smoothing it out so that way it's not so like, I don't know how you'd describe it, so seen, I guess. I don't know. Just make sure that it's blended in more. We'll just put it that way. We'll mix the, we'll dip the brush in some acetone and go over the light blue area just to make sure that blue is blended in a bit more. After that, you will want to cure it in the light for 30 seconds. Now to get like that ripped jean look, I am taking a smaller liner brush and some white gel polish and doing like little streaks across the nails where I feel like I would want the little stitching to be, I guess. Not stitching, but where like the ripped part of the jeans would be. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. You can do it however you'd like. Um, also, I've seen where people do like use real jeans and like cut up like the ends of the jeans where they are ripped, but I don't have jeans, honestly. I only have sweats, so I don't... I'm not about to go out and go buy a pair of jeans just to make a nail set, so we're just working with what I got here. So after you do that to all of the nails, you will cure that in the light for, I just did 10 seconds, just a flash cure while we moved on to the next step. So again with that white gel polish you want to take your liner brush and just do like small little stitchings along the smile line of the French nails and along the sidewalls and free edge as well. This will give it more of that jean look um, with the stitching and everything to like complete the set so I think it looks really cool.
For this, now I'm doing the stitching along that curve that I outlined in the beginning part of the nail art portion, and I will be doing two sets of stitching um, on this as well. After I've done all the stitching on all the nails, I will be curing it in the lamp for 60 seconds to make sure everything's nice and fully cured. So this is what everything is looking like. Next, I will be taking my matted um, top coat from Not Polish and applying it to all the nails. I did feel like these look better matte, so I did decide to do a matte, but you can do glossy, you can do half matte, half glossy, you can do whatever you'd like. And I ain't gonna lie, this was more of a plain set. I've seen sets as well that add charms and everything, but I won't lie, I don't really have much charms. So, like I said, I'm just working with what I got. I still think these came out really cool. So after I apply a thin layer of matte top coat to all of the nails, I will be curing it in the lamp for 90 seconds to make sure it's all nice and cured. But that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!